Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're looking at the best cities in Germany to visit. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best cities to trek through on your Deutschland journey. Stuttgart Germany, of course, is a top-tier country for automobile production. It largely has the city of Stuttgart to thank for that. Two car brands synonymous with luxury are rooted in Stuttgart. Founded in 1926, Mercedes-Benz is headquartered in Stuttgart, while Porsche first set up shop there in 1931. Often cited as the cradle of the automobile and car capital city, Stuttgart is a haven for any high-speed enthusiast. To cruise through the city's history of classy cars, visit the Mercedes-Benz Museum and Porsche Museum, which cleverly look like extravagant parking garages. They aren't Stuttgart's only architectural marvels, with historic castles seemingly everywhere, in addition to landmarks like TV Tower. Outdoor lovers will also be drawn to picturesque venues like Kilsberg Park. Keeping with the automobile theme, we'd suggest renting a convertible and seeing the sights with the roof down. Freiburg in Breisgau Freiburg has been described as Germany's sunniest city, as well as the warmest. Few cities look lovelier bathing in the sunshine, amplifying the old-fashioned architecture and the surrounding black forest. We'd argue that the dark green forest would be a more accurate name for the latter destination, as it immerses visitors in its legions of trees. The best time to visit is between May and September, when the luminous weather is at its peak. Even during the winter, though, there's a different breed of warmth to Freiburg. It's the kind of warmth one feels on Christmas morning, wrapped in a blanket. With a blanket of snow covering the charming houses and churches, there's a Santa's Village vibe to Freiburg. Whichever time of the year you visit, a glass of Baden wine suits any backdrop. Leipzig When it comes to sightseeing, Leipzig more than delivers, with landmarks such as the Monument or the Battle of the Nations. Sight isn't the only sense that Leipzig will appease, however. Leipzig is also among Germany's finest cities for sound, specifically music. Some of history's most revered composers are rooted in this harmonious city. Johann Sebastian Bach served as the Thomas Cantor, or musical director, at Leipzig establishments like St. Thomas School and the Tamarnakor. Felix Mendelssohn founded the Leipzig Conservatory of Music, now the University of Music and Theatre. The sounds they brought to Leipzig can still be heard today, but the city has also emerged as a modern hotspot for indie music. Whether seated at a concert hall or passing street performer, Leipzig is alive with the sound of music. Dusseldorf Whereas some German cities can look more like small towns, Dusseldorf is an urban playground through and through. That's not to say it's lacking in the whimsy you'd find in quainter areas. The harbour has been decorated with the fascinating architecture of Frank Gehry. These buildings may be motionless, but they possess a coiled energy as if they're about to jump off the pavement and into the water. It's not surprising that Dusseldorf is Germany's fashion capital, as the whole city is dressed up in everything avant-garde. Dusseldorf is an incredibly active city, which is reflected through one of its oldest and most treasured symbols, the cartwheel. Even if you're not coordinated enough to pull off a cartwheel, you'll feel like doing one as you take in the electric nightlife and festivals. Dresden Of all the cities in Germany, Dresden might have the most royal aesthetic, with grand buildings lining the regal rivers. From Moritzburg Castle to Dresden Castle, the city feels like one giant treasure chest. As a matter of fact, Dresden has been nicknamed the Jewel Box due to its Baroque and Rococo architecture. It's also been described as Florence on the Elbe, thanks to an art scene that few others can compete with. Aside from the museums, art and nature intersect at outdoor locales like Saxon Switzerland's Bastai Bridge. You'd never guess that much of the city was destroyed during World War II. Since then, Dresden has been lovingly restored and persevered, serving as a work of art in and of itself. Frankfurt Frankfurt stands out as the only German destination to earn Alpha World City status from the Globalization and World Cities Research Network. This city is an alpha in every sense of the word, from the colourful culture to the skyscraper-adorned financial centre. It's also a magnet for tourism, with one of the biggest draws being the Frankfurt Trade Fair. The world's third largest exhibition centre, Messe Frankfurt has made room for the biggest auto show, book fair, consumer goods fair and much more. As industrial as Frankfurt can appear, public squares like Romerberg will take you back to a simpler time. If you're looking to study abroad in Germany, Frankfurt is an ideal choice. This isn't just because of prestigious learning institutions like Gotha University, but you can absorb knowledge by exploring any street. Cologne With a name like Cologne, you'd expect this city to have a wonderful allure. 
Cologne doesn't disappoint, with the smell of high class roaming through the air. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the city is the birthplace of Eau de Cologne, which first launched in 1709. While this might be the city's most famous contribution, Cologne has so much more to offer. The architecture ranges from the modern crane house of Cranhaus to the gothic Cologne Cathedral to the humble candy-coated houses of Old Town. Speaking of candy, looking to indulge in your sweet tooth? Germany is the land of chocolate and Cologne is its capital. Any dessert enthusiast needs to take a tour of the Imhoff Chocolate Museum. Cologne and chocolate, there isn't a better smelling combo. Hamburg Germany's second largest city has an abundance of sights to see, treats to eat, and music to hear. What defines Hamburg above all else is its water, with rivers, streams, and canals surrounding the very buildings. We'd call Hamburg the Venice of Germany, but it has the Italian city beat in one department, bridges. Hamburg hosts nearly 2,500 of them, more than any other city in Europe, including the so-called City of Bridges. Quantity doesn't mean everything, but Hamburg has an assortment of bridges that stick out. The Kohlrand Bridge is distinguished by its blue triangular towers, giving it a modern edge. For something a bit more historical, seek out the Lombard Bridge over the Ulster River. It's just one facet of the Hamburg Wall Ring, the inner city's beating heart. Munich Bavaria's most popular city, Munich is one of Germany's most historic locales. It's also one of the most informative, with museums dedicated to art, science, cars, and a long list of other subjects. They even have a museum for beer and Oktoberfest. On that note, Oktoberfest has made its way to many cities around the world, but Munich is where this legendary event originated from. When some people visit Germany, they expect to see all the guys wearing lederhosen, at least one person on the accordion, and groups of friends clinking their tall, frosty mugs together. While that's generally a misconception, it perfectly encapsulates Oktoberfest. No city does it better than Munich, which makes sense since they've been doing it the longest. Beyond the excuse to drink, it's a celebration of culture, folklore, and community. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Bremen Heidelberg Berlin There isn't a better way to experience Germany than by immersing yourself in its vast and amazing capital, Berlin. The architecture can't be topped, including sites like Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag Building, and the Berlin Cathedral. Berlin is brimming with cultural institutes, from the Museum Island to the Deutsche Theater. Cinephiles can even look up where some of their favorite movies were shot, most famously Cabaret. The Carnaval de Kulturen, or Carnival of Cultures, perhaps encapsulates Berlin at its most festive. Of course, no trip would be complete without seeing the essential memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe Holocaust Museum, as well as the Berlin Wall Memorial. For almost 30 years, the Berlin Wall divided more than just a city. The fall of the wall was not only the most important modern moment in Berlin history, but all of Germany. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.